In this part, we are going to tackle the text tool and fonts. So, we are going to see how we can modify this text with the option on the right panel. Here you can see that there is a lot of fonts. If you can't find, find the font that you want, you can go to Google Fonts where you can download the fonts that you want by clicking the plus and add them to the cart. Here you can click download and install those fonts. After install, you have to reopen Figma to update the new fonts that you added to your computer. Cool. Now we are going to change our font. You can name it or you can use the up and down arrow to change them. Then you can make it bolder or light. Or that means thinner. You can also increase and decrease the size of the text. And you can see that there is a frame for the text. The text you can create it by clicking the upper toolbar T and click on the screen. As you can see, the Flame is adjustable, so you can make it smaller like this, so it could feel in the in our frame. And to show you how this works, I'm going to duplicate and create a more larger text. So you can see that the auto height, what it, it is, option do is to limit the text to wrap them in the box. Now I create two paragraphs so I can show you the difference between line height that increase the distance between rows and paragraph spacing that increase the distance between paragraph. If you want to increase the space between letters, you use letter spacing. Now, to align text, you can use those three options. For more options, you go to Advance, those three dots that you can find here. Here you can also see the preview of all those type details. As you can check, you can play with them. Now, to change the text color, you go to fill and here you drag the ball to the color that you want. Other than fill, you can add stroke to the text. So here we are going to add black text and change fill to white. 